cow. How many cows you have is a measure of your wealth and status. But it's a constant battle to protect them from the wild predators who live in this part of the world. It's, it's the men's job to put the defences up around the boma. What, what animals do you have to protect your cattle from? Wanyama kama fisi, na kama simba, na kama njile mwingine chui, lakini kuna moja lia shindika na kati wala wanyama wote ni chui. Haina, mm -hmm. lions and the leopard. But uh, among those animals, the one which is a difficult one is the leopard. Even if you put a fence of four meters yeah. high, still the local leopard will be able to get it. And he lives on this, uh, yeah, yeah, on the caves and hiding parts on the mountain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Has anyone here killed a leopard or a lion? Almost like a hundred. Since he was, uh, he was young, he was wow. like a hundred of them. Yeah, Simba, Faru, Mbogu. lions, rhino, elephant, leopard. Just with the spear? Yeah, just with the spear. Wow. Yeah, he was saying when he was young, mm -hmm. he killed three rhinos. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Three rhinos? Yeah. Oh, when wow. he was young. <laughs> The next morning, while we unpack the balloon, Perikaperni is making his way on foot from his village. He set off at dawn, but this is a big day. This will be the first time he's seen his land from the air. Here we are in Ngata Kitty for stage two of the epic balloon flight. I mean, what a dramatic landscape to set off from. And there's a fantastic volcano over on the right. And, uh, well, it'll be very interesting to see how our guest enjoys it. He's looking a little bemused at the moment, but Robin and I will uh, stop him from jumping out. And uh, here we go. OK, back out on your lane, let go. Well done. There we go. Welcome aboard. I wonder what's going through his mind. Wow. Okay, no problem. <laughs> shadow. <laughs> nice. Look at the shadow. You're in that balloon. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> There's Noel. No, small, small. Yeah. Pericaponi is waiting for the rainy season, which is late in coming this year. In the dry months, his cattle have to roam further and further afield to find grazing.
When the cattle give less milk, the Maasai bleed their cows and drink the blood for sustenance. Perikopern is eager to spot any sign of the coming rains. To give Perikopernia a complete view of the territory, Robin attempts a 360 degree turn. Not many people can do that. <laughs> That's my equivalent of a loop the loop. We miss. Good pilot. Top, top, top. Good captain. Okay, fantastic. You are a great warrior. <laughs> Yay. Fantastic. Champion. Mana kama siku imefika, basi lakini mimi nilikuwa sidhani kwamba niko hai. When he entered the balloon, uh, he thought that is going to be his last day on earth. That is going no longer to be uh, surviving of this earth, but once he has been on it and he has landed safely, everything is super fine for him. He had a nice, super fine experience. Fantastic. <laughs> on my journey of a lifetime, I'm getting a unique perspective on Africa's most fascinating animals and seeing how man and wild animals live together. I'm leaving the open plains of Tanzania, heading to the mountains of Rwanda. My destination is the Volcanoes National Park, home to one of the most endangered and beautiful animals in the world, the mountain gorilla. Nagasha is the alpha male or the leader of this group. There are only 720 mountain gorillas left in the world today, and most of them live here. Poaching, civil war and disease are major threats to their survival. This is an animal on the brink of extinction. These creatures are extremely reclusive and there's no guarantee we'll spot any. But if anyone can lead me to a gorilla group, it's top tracker Anna Klett. The silverback males can be very dangerous if threatened, but Anna Klett has learned to communicate with them, so he's giving me a crash course in how to speak gorilla. Uh -huh. When they are happy, they don't have any stress, they will do this. <coughs> this will be the same when they want to accept you in the group. And if they don't want you to approach, they will do this. <coughs> that means no, no. stop, stop, mm -hmm. don't come much further, you have to stop. And another special vocalization, this is really special, it's when they are mating. And it's mainly done by the silverback when he's over happy. Mm -hmm. He will do this. <laughs> if you do this in front of the silverback, you will be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll remember because not to that, do that. That means there is another silverback in the group. Ah, so it'd be cha like a challenge. Yes, doing some business. Right. And you know he believes he's the only one who can do it in the group. Yeah. So that's why I told you, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Yeah. Very good, I'm glad, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> the buffalo wall that I'm sitting on marks the border to the Volcano National Park in northern Rwanda, home to the mountain gorilla. I think like most people in the UK, the inspirational footage of Lord Attenborough with these wonderful creatures made everyone dream that one day they might get the opportunity themselves to see these 
animals and well today is my opportunity so uh, I'm really really looking forward to it it's very special Mother. mountain gorillas live in large family groups led by a dominant silverback male the one we're tracking is called a gasher, which means the special one. He earned the name because he stole away seven females from other groups. The going's quite treacherous underfoot. You get literally stuck in the mud. I'm going to have this all knocked through and then create a bit of a water feature. We've been tracking through dense bamboo forest for many hours now and have seen no sign of the gorillas. I'm exhausted. It looks like this expedition has been a failure. But suddenly Anna Klett spots something. Well, yeah. so you can see gorilla dropping. This is one way you can identify gorilla path mm -hmm. and tell which direction they're heading. Would they pull so, these down? Yes, you see they, they broke this bamboo. Mm -hmm. Wherever they pass, they break trees. Mm -hmm. so we are not far from the gorillas. The tension in the party rises. We think we're getting close now. Then I spot some movement through the undergrowth. 